This is Travis Zimmerman, Site Manager for the Mille Lacs Indian Museum and Trading Post, and this is Collection Item of the Week. Here we have a beaded birch bark basket, which is one of my favorite pieces. You can see that the basket is held together using wigu, which is the inner bark of the basswood tree, and these figures also have beadwork attached to them. The beading is a unique feature because it's very challenging to bead on birch bark without cracking it. This basket is also a great example of applique birch bark work, which is a practice of using cut out pieces of bark and attaching them to other pieces of bark. You can see the wigu here along the seam, which is used to attach the ends of bark to one another. Wigu was used because one side of the basswood bark is shiny and somewhat tacky so it acts as a natural adhesive to hold the bark together. This piece is an adaptation of a traditional birch bark basket and was made primarily as a collector's item. This basket is stored alongside a variety of other containers, ranging from very large birch bark baskets, which would have been used for food storage, to different types of baskets made out of black ash and cedar. We also have bags made out of cedar, basswood, bulrush, and nettle fibers. There is another example of a beaded birch bark basket, and we also have a piece of a scraped birch bark basket where the artist would scrape away the inside darker layer of the bark to create pictures or a scene. Thanks for joining us for the collection item of the week. Giga Wobbleman, see you later.